love exploring places like this. There are so many treasures to be found. Like this tapestry. So much love and attention has gone into it, but it's not really everyone's style. I'm going to show you how we can make it a little bit more modern. Here I have some white cross-stitch fabric. For my design, I've chosen a really simple square. Make sure you have a nice flat surface and a good ruler and start marking it out. I don't think I've done ruling like this since primary school. So once you've finished your design, it's time for the embroidery hoop. Now, it looks like this, a bit strange, but all you need to do is grab the inside hoop, which is a bit smaller, and place it underneath your cross-stitch fabric. Make sure it's centred. And this hoop basically just gives a nice tension for when we're stitching. Then we just tighten it up and we're ready to start stitching. So I have three areas to fill with wool. I've chosen an orange, a brown and a red. Grab your wool and just get less than a metre. That'll make it a lot easier when we're stitching. We don't want to be pulling our arms out like this. We just want to leave about three or four centimetres so it doesn't slip out and we can start stitching. Start on the underside because the back won't be on display. Pull the wool through the fabric except for about the last six centimetres. Use your guidelines to determine where you come back through and then plough back down as close as you can to the last stitch. And if we turn it over, we can start to see the stitches form. This is going to take me a little while, so I'm going to find somewhere comfy and have a cup of tea. Now I've just secured my last stitch and it's finished. All we have to do is put it in the frame. And there you have it, your chic abstract art. The best part is, is that the design is completely in your hands. You can choose whatever shape or colour you like.